Happy Monday, everyone. It's Sophie. And a D. We're always looking for new ways to support you, and we know firsthand how life can get in the way. So we've created five-minute episodes with motivation from us and our great friends to keep you feeling ignited and inspired no matter what life throws at you. Welcome to the Ignited Motivation Podcast. Mini episodes every Monday. Listen while you brush your teeth. Or on your morning walk. And you'll never miss out on the latest tips and tricks that are keeping us feeling motivated. Well, hello, my name is Terry Cole and I'm a licensed psychotherapist and the author of Boundary Boss. And you're listening to Ignited Motivation. Today, I'm gonna be breaking down the true nature of healthy boundaries and walking you through your Boundary Boss Bill of Rights, which is right at the beginning of my new book because it's basically the foundation for healthy boundaries. There is a lot of misinformation and a lot of myths out there about boundaries that if you're good at establishing or enforcing boundaries, you must be mean or rejecting or confronting, which none of those things are true. Because in reality, you can always assert your boundaries with kindness, with ease, with grace, and when appropriate, with love. But we need to learn how to do it. So I want you to think about boundaries as a skill set, just like a language unto itself. You wouldn't expect to be fluent in any foreign language simply because you really wished that you were. You would know that you needed to learn the basics of that language before you could be fluent. This is the same exact thing with boundaries. So the good news is you can definitely learn, and I am more than happy to guide you on that Boundary Boss journey. So let's start with the Boundary Boss Bill of Rights and we'll go from there. You have the right to say no or yes to others without feeling guilty. You have the right to make mistakes, to course correct, or to change your mind. And for many of us, this can be very challenging. We feel like once we make a decision, we have to stick with it, which means that every decision you make carries the weight of a life sentence. So remember, you have the right to change your mind. You have the right to negotiate for your preferences, your desires, and your needs. And you not only have the right to do that, but in fact, you're the only one who can. Because who else knows what your preferences, desires, and needs are? You have the right to express and honor all of your feelings, if you so choose. Which also means that you're not obligated to confess all of your feelings, even if someone wants to know them. You have the right to voice your opinion, even if others disagree. And I think that this one can also be difficult if you want to avoid conflict, if you fear rejection, and yet know that you have the right. You have a right to be treated with respect, consideration, and care. I'm going to say that again. You have the right to be treated with respect, consideration, and care, And it all starts with how you treat yourself. Because your relationship to yourself sets the bar for every other relationship in your life. Others see the way that you treat yourself. And if you treat yourself like crap or hold yourself in low esteem, you will inevitably attract others who agree with that low self-opinion. You have the right to determine who has the privilege of being in your amazing life. So think about that. Just because people might feel entitled to be in your life, that doesn't mean that they need to be there. You really are the decider of who gets to be there. So imagine it like this. You're the only bouncer for the VIP section of your life. You make the guest list. You put up that velvet rope. And if you don't do those things, anyone who feels entitled will just mosey on in and sit down in the VIP section of your life, which means you'll be spending a lot of time with folks that you are not mindfully choosing. You have the right to communicate your boundaries, your limits, and your deal breakers, which means you need to know your boundaries, your limits, and your deal breakers. What are your limits, right? What are the things that are a no-go for you? And no one else has a right to tell you that those things are right or wrong because this is for you alone to decide. You have the right to prioritize yourself and your self-care without feeling selfish. And I think for many of us, this is a major boundary struggle because we were raised and praised 
for being self-abandoning codependents, right? Overgiving to others, neglecting our own self-care. And if you do that long enough, it really will lead to anger and exhaustion. And finally, you have the right to talk true, to be seen, and to finally live free, which happens to be the subtitle of my book. And you really do have the right to do that, and you have to create it for yourself. So for the next 24 hours, I'm going to give you an awareness raising activity to do. I want you to write down every time that you say yes, when you really wanted to say no, or when you overgave or overcommitted or overfunctioned in a relationship, because this will start to give you a clear picture of where your boundaries might need your attention. And I have to say, you might be shocked at how people will respect the boundaries when you start to draw them slowly, but surely. I want to make sure that if you take one thing away from this motivation, it's that drawing boundaries, becoming a veritable boundary boss, does not mean you have to be harsh or mean or rejecting. You can be kind, and in fact, it is the most loving thing that you can do in your relationships because it means that you are being authentic. Because ultimately, if you are saying yes when you really want to say no to the people you love the most, you're not letting them know who you are really are. And ultimately, how can anyone authentically love you if you don't allow them to authentically know you? And you are so worthy of being authentically known, loved, and celebrated. So that is your ignited motivation for today. For more resources and gems for mastering the art of boundaries and to get your copy of Boundary Boss, you can go to BoundaryBossBook.com and you can find me on Instagram at Terry Cole, which is T-E-R-R-I-C-O-L-E or my website of the same name. Thank you for tuning in and as always, take care of you. You just listened to the Ignited Motivation Podcast. Did you love the mini dose of motivation? Please let us know. Your feedback and experience is our number one motivator. Leave us a review, subscribe, and share with your favorite people on your favorite apps. And don't forget to catch the next episode every Monday. Because we want to hear from you. So join the conversation and discover bonus content on our website and Instagram. You can find the links in the show notes. Now that you're ignited, what are you motivated to take on?